Mr. Bigley! Hey there, guys and gals, it's Kerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Kerbigly. I'm playing yet another random one shot, another one that I found over on Game Jolt, in fact, which is like my favorite stomping grounds. I'm over there all the time. This game is called Ninja Rush, and it's uh, kind of like a retro styled uh, game that's an endless runner with an action twist. Normally, in endless runners, you just have to dodge things uh, until you get to the end of the goal or until you die. Um, if it's truly endless, uh, but in this one what happens is you're actually a ninja who throws stars like shuriken at enemies and you have to blow them up I guess in the future robots have taken over the earth or something like that Anyway, this game does not feature any music So what I've decided to do is add some of my own um, as far as I know this game wasn't made for any sort of uh, indie jam or anything like that uh, But we'll go ahead and we'll start we're going to area one it is the year 2038. The Earth is under attack by robotic alien invaders who stumbled upon our planet in their search for a substitute for their destroyed homeworld. Determined to colonize this new territory, the decision was made to wipe out their closest competitor, mankind. That's us! We gotta kill these alien jerks. Within mere moments, Earth's defenses were shattered and humanity faces extinction. But when all hope seems lost, a mysterious warrior steps out of the shadows and rushes into the battle. Now, the ultimate fight for survival begins! I kinda think it's weird that it changed, uh, tenses there. So anyway, there's us, we're a ninja ninja guy, there's a robot, and he's shooting lasers at us, and they're running at us, oh, don't blow up the car, that's a human car. So we gotta jump, we jump, and we kill, and we, ah, look out for the dragon, and there's aliens, oh, and I love that the, the spaceship just goes flying. So, um, we have the ability to slide by hitting down, and we slide forward like that which is pretty cool. Um, those orbs, the one, ow, damn it, the one that I picked up and just wasted, those are health orbs. Um, now, I don't know if this is randomly generated or not, but uh, if it is, then it makes it harder. Uh, but this game's crazy. It reminds me a lot of um, other Endless Runners that I've played on like my iPhone, uh, but not as uh, boring, because you actually have to run and jump and uh, you have to kill things. And as you kill more things, apparently the enemy level goes up. Oh man, this guy's got a freaking fireball gun from Borderlands 2 or something. Um, oh man. Ah! Uh, wow, that was close. We almost got hit by the car. Oh, don't shoot me with your freaking laser, dude. Stop. You're an alien. No one likes you. Okay, so, uh, really simple concept. Ow! Uh, like I said, I don't know if this... God damn it, we're dead. We died. <laughs> really simple concept. Um, very hard to master, though. Uh, as you saw there, I just got wasted by those enemies. Um, and every enemy, I like that every enemy has a different attack pattern, that's really cool. Um, and you just have to use all of your skills to get by them all. Uh, but, oh man, we're at a boss, apparently. Oh, he's shooting fireballs at me. Okay, so he's in a big tank. I, the, the enemies look kind of like rabbits. Ow! I j yeah, I'll just jump immediately into his face. That That is definitely helpful to jump into the tank. Um, uh, don't kill me, bro. Oh. That's, that's dangerous, what I'm doing. I'm bad at this game. I'm super bad at this game. If you guys think you can do better, uh, like I always do, I will leave a link down in the description below so that you can download it yourself. And, uh, yeah, see if you can do better than me, who clearly sucks at this. I'm, I'm very, very bad. Uh, but it is a lot of fun. Oh, man, that was close jump. That was a close one. What is that? Oh, it's going to explode. Sure, let's run in the tank again. That was helpful for everybody. I'm dead. <laughs> So I can see how this could very easily turn into a rage game. Um, I do like that there's like checkpoints though, like we, we start at the boss again it looks like, which is great. Um, but damn it, god damn it, why do I always run into his stupid freaking turret gun? Ah, fireballs in the face! Uh, and this is our last life I think, so we're really bad at this. Um, but still, it's a fun game, like I said, it's it's got that endless runner feel because it just constantly pushes you forward, it's a force progression thing. Um, but not in a way that I hate. Um, it's not like it's timed or anything, it's just you gotta kill all the enemies. And uh, it's easy to do, because you got infinite shurikens. And by easy, I mean uh, if you're not me. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> Don't kill me with your fire, bro. Um, but I really like the retro aesthetic of this game. I like the, uh, the fact that it does have some cool retro sound effects. Um, however, like I said, I'm gonna probably mask most of them with some music just because of the fact that it does lack a soundtrack for some reason. Um, now, if you're over on Game Jolt and you're not using the link that I'm providing uh, in the in the description of the video, uh, keep in mind that there's a couple other games, I think at least one more, that are named uh, Ninja Rush as well. And uh, this one's the one from 2010. God damn it, shit. I keep forgetting that I have to actually 
get away from that one. Um, anyway, so, uh, dodge! Um, don't go to those ones, because I think there are games that are still in development, whereas this one's a finished project product, and it's actually not too bad. It's, uh, like I said, a lot of fun, albeit really freaking frustrating, because I'm bad at these games. Ah, oh, shit! God damn it, he cornered me. Ah, uh, game over. I'm the worst at this game in the world. But that's basically it. Um, I don't think I'm going to do another run, because that's the whole game. Uh, I don't know what happens when you get to area two or area three but you guys can find that out yourselves if you go ahead and you play the game yourself it's not a big game it's absolutely free i think it's only like three megabytes so it's like really really small so even if you don't have a lot of space on your computer and you don't have uh you know top of the line pc specs or anything like that you can still play it because of the very very simple retro aesthetic anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this episode if you did please be sure to hit the like button share the video favorite it also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already for those of you who have thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye I didn't want to look at any of the concept art, really, or anything like that on their Indiegogo page, because I didn't want anything to be ruined, so uh, those who were kidnapped before us, nobody made it back. I'm afraid about my family. I left them all alone. Is there still any hope for us? I don't know, Master Splinter. Maybe the turtles will come and rescue us. 